Hi everyone. What I want to talk about today is second guessing yourself. And I think we all have a tendency to do that when we're painting. We're just going to do one more thing. We're looking at our art and fussing with it. And it's really key to know where and when to stop. And I struggle with this all the time. What I have on the screen right now is a painting that I did a couple days ago and it was very intuitive. Um, I just started putting paint on the paper and there's a I've recorded a video about that and you can check that out on my YouTube. This was very spontaneous and I didn't spend a lot of time doing it and I actually was interrupted while I was painting it and then I came back to it and I looked at it and I was still like in my artistic mode I guess and I thought oh you know this looks really good and I signed it and walked away and then hours later I looked at it again and I decided oh you know I think that I should make that bluff more pronounced and so I got in there and I started messing with it and changing things and defining things and what I did was really just not trust my viewer um, to be able to see what I saw in my art the first time and by going in and defining in it refining it I took that possibility away from the viewer now some people um, this isn't going to be for everyone because some people do uh, very photorealistic art and that's a whole different thing than what I'm doing here this is for the painters that like a little bit of abstraction um, they want their watercolor to be loose and free and they want their viewer to actually interact with their painting and have an emotion um, in regards to it such as seeing something in it that connects with the individual whereas I'm not sure if I'm explaining that properly but I know with my art let me let me back up and try that again I know with my art um, an art that appeals to me the most is where I engage with it in some way and it creates some kind of an emotion and I have I connect with it it's not like there are really nice paintings that I look at and I'm like oh that's nice and then I just go on um, I like art where I have to stop and study it and become involved with it and that's the kind of art that I want to produce and so by I feel like that I really accomplished that when I first painted this now when I went back in and started changing things and defining things I lost that opportunity to allow my viewer to connect with my painting in, in their own way um, I, in fact, I showed them what they're supposed to see by going in and changing it. And um, I lost a lot of the luminosity uh, in my painting and the like rather mystical, magical quality of it. And I was really disappointed that I did that. And I felt like that was really a learning lesson because I think that... Um, very often as an artist we do second guess ourselves and we do just that little bit more and we go back and look at it and think oh I need to change this and I think it's really key to learn when to stop and to really think it out and I think what I'm going to do in the future like I said this was a real learning lesson for me I think what I'm going to do in the future is I know two days would be too much for myself to walk away from it but I think what I'm going to do is just like sleep on it and look at it again the next day if I'm still wanting to change something and really analyze why do I want to change this why do I want 
to do something different to it. Is this actually going to enhance my art or am I actually trying to tell my viewer what I want them to see instead of letting them connect with my art in their own way? So I've put this on a split screen um, to make it easier for you to see the changes that I made and how I went in and defined the cliff face and the trees and the ground. And if you'll notice, um, yes, you, when you look at it, you can see exactly what I, w I personally saw in there on the second picture, the one on the right. And on the first one, if you look at it, there's a lot of um, luminous layers that look really magical to me, I guess is the way that I would describe it. And I mean, when I look at that, I see a lot of different things. I see maybe like the ocean off to the right coming up against the cliff. And But in the second one, the one on the far right, um, I, by defining that, I have told my viewer what I want them to see. And I really that's not really the purpose of what my work and what I want to do. So I think for those of you who are uh, painting abstract or semi-abstract or intuitive painting, that your purpose is probably similar to mine and you're wanting the viewer to interact and connect with your painting in their own way. So this was just um, an example of what not to do. <laughs> so I hope that the next time you get ready to go in and start changing things or overthinking that you will stop yourself and ask the question why do I want to change this or is this root does this really need to be changed and be more thoughtful about where you're going with your intuitive art I would love to hear your thoughts on this so if you would drop me a comment below and tell me what you think thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this I hope that the next time you get ready to change something that you'll give it a second thought on whether it really needs to be changed or not. And if you would, hit subscribe and the bell so that you can get notifications the next time I upload a video.